Hello and welcome to Angela's Busy Bees Garden and Homestead. Guys, I've been doing some cleanup in the home garden and I've started off in the middle. As you can see, I've pulled all of the old broccoli out of this bed that was planted in the spring. Uh, over here, I've cleaned out this bed where I have my asparagus and these were also planted in the spring and I'm just now getting little baby asparagus on them. And I was told that as long as this top part is still alive and growing, um, that uh, the plant is still doing well. So I, am, I have removed uh, the majority of the lower leaves so that the little Brussels sprouts can form. And as you can see, they're coming along nicely. Um, I've been spraying for bug damage as you can see here. And if you look closely, I'm still seeing a lot of bugs on it. I've been spraying with this BT, but it doesn't seem like it's getting the job done. So I may have to use some uh, garden dust or some um, seven dust on it because as you can see here, I'm spraying this bug over here and it's not budging at all but it's the same bug on all of my brassicas it appears so I'm gonna to have to use something other than this BT um, but over here during the spring I planted cabbage and now in this bed I'm, I have planted transplants for broccoli and I've put cabbage in this bed and my kale from the spring is still looking beautifully. Not as much uh, bug pressure. And I can possibly harvest as well. And then in this bed, this is my um, collard greens that I planted in the spring and also kale around it also in the little cells of the cinder blocks. Uh, but as you can see here, also I've got a lot of uh, bug damage but I think I can still save my collards instead of pulling these out uh, but I did purchase some new collard green transplants uh, from Lowe's as well that I'm going to plant in the other two raised beds that I have like I said this BT is really not helping on this particular bug but I know that this BT works well on the tomato hornworm. Um, but whatever it is that's biting my collards and the rest of my brassicas, it's not doing a thing. So I'm going to use uh, some seven dust. Uh, I have some already here on hand that I can use. I've removed most of the peppers that I had in these containers. But I left the bell peppers in this one because these seem to still be trying to, to make it. Uh, the others were completely brown and had died off. I will be bringing this pineapple plant indoors over winter. There's my thyme there. Here I have my sedum autumn joy. The bees absolutely love this plant and it's so beautiful in the fall. And it's so easy to propagate. All you have to do is break off a stem and stick it in soil. And before you know it, it's going to root. Now, over here with my brassicas, I also have some cabbage um, that could not fit in the bed where I have my cabbage. This is the area that I need to work on next. And I'm thinking about all of these uh, bags here. I'm going to remove all of these bags and put them in another place, but just push all these other containers further back to give me more room to walk around down these aisles because, without almost tripping. So just to give the garden a little bit more space, um, I'm going to be using these bags for potatoes uh, next year in the spring. So I'm just going to go on and empty them out into my raised beds uh, where the soil level has dropped and um, just hold on to the bags until next spring. But as you can see here, this barrel 
and I love using barrels in the garden, but as you can see, it does not really uh, hold up. Uh, so what I'm probably going to do is just dig all the soil out of here and put into another container and get rid of the barrel altogether because it looks like the ring that holds it together has fallen down and I don't know if I'll be able to put it back together. And then I have this area over here as well to clean up. Um, I had planted potatoes in those um, milk crates and they really didn't do much because it was so dry. So I'm thinking about just keeping these crates here, uh, removing the grass out of it and allowing it to sit over winter. And we'll see what happens in the spring if they come up. If not, then I'll throw them away. But all of these crates right here, I'm going to get rid of all of this just to give myself a little bit more walking room uh, around in my garden. Um, because with all of the pots, it has really gotten so crowded and coming in, trying to load soil or mulch or anything like that was becoming a bit difficult. And then after I clean up this side, guys, I'm also going to be working to the right. As you can see here, I've got a lot of grass to get out of here, but I have a few bell peppers uh, that are still trying to put on flowers, but I've got a lot of grass to get out of raised bed number one. There are a few flowers on here as well where they may make another bell pepper or two uh, before it gets too cool. But to clean that out, and then also, I have my cardboard here. I'll be laying cardboard down in my uh, area where I have my blueberries. And I have a couple of trees like this one here trying to grow in here that I have to take out and other things that's growing along this fence line that I don't want and uh, don't know what it is. It's some type of tree. Um, just have all of that removed and then put down the cardboard and mulch and back here guys this is my comfrey that I purchased from Diva Jones 03 a couple of years ago I purchased one little piece and have been able to multiply this plant and I, of course I'm growing it as a fertilizer uh, where I can make comfrey tea to fertilize my garden um, but as you can see I've made a lot of uh, changes uh, or clean up to the home garden and my goal this fall is to reduce the amount of pots um, that's you know in the way and utilize more of my raised beds and more in particular the cells of the cinder blocks also can be used for growing a lot of things so that's what I'm going to be focusing on making room for myself to maneuver in the garden because I've had it, you know, quite um, busy and just a lot of stuff everywhere. And as you can see now, I've cleaned up also along this fence line where I can see the market garden easily from this area of my garden. But not going to make this any longer, guys. Just wanted to come along and share with you um, that not only am I cleaning up, but I'm also doing some fall planting of brassicas um, for the fall and winter. And in these containers here, these containers I was able to get from a landscaper. And um, I have basically dumped out a lot of the pots. I had way more pots in here than what you currently see. <coughs> but I've been dumping the soil from those other containers into these big pots. And I will be growing uh, mustard greens in these four containers. I might add a fifth one. And as you can see, I've put down some black plastic to try to suppress the weeds. And in those barrels over here, I'll probably do turnip greens and maybe some lettuces in those uh, containers. But I want to thank you so much for joining me. You guys have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye-bye.